Uh, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Bing Bing Wen, and I'm going to present uh, our paper, uh, ESP score learning matrix for recommendation explanation. Um, I don't know if I, you know, oh, I need to start. Uh, you can see my face. <laughs> and uh, uh, in this paper, we propose a new data set and a new evaluation, evaluation framework for recommendation explanations. Mm -hmm. I see. And the uh, an explanation, uh, experimental recommendation draws increasing attention in recent years. And uh, why we need explanations, uh, we can see like uh, tables in the top show some two explanation examples. We could see these explanations could help user make good decision fast and increase user's confidence in the system. Also, there are two major directions of pro providing explanations. Images in the in the bottom shows that there are the two working mechanisms. First is model intrinsic. We could design models with transparent inner working mechanisms like linear regression and decision trees. These models provide recommendations and explanations at the same time. The other is the model agnostic, which provides the post hoc explanations after the model makes recommendations. Uh, there are normally three types of explanations given how the explanation is provided in this paper. Uh, we will focus on the text, uh, as textual explanations. Uh, also, we can see the right table shows some explanations generated by existing SOTA models. People usually extract user reviews as ground truth and then compare the quality of the explanations with ground truth. However, uh, First, there's no such ground truth for explanations due to the inherent nature of explanations since there's no like golden standard of what explanations should look like. And to the best of our knowledge, uh, a general and a commonly accepted matrix for explanation uh, in recommendation system is still missing. And uh, there's no like uh, matrix specially designed for explanations. However, like solid, Research depends on solid evaluation metrics. We need to develop a uh, like solid metrics for evaluating this kind of explanations. As we know, like explanation quality is not well defined. Previous work proposed that a good explanation should have great test quality and explainability. Also, there are some like I, there are some um, met, uh, common metrics used for evaluation and the uh, ideal way of evaluating the explainability of the machine generated explanation is through online study. We can see blog like married the explanations uh, by collecting user judgment on, on pre-designed goals. But though such human centric evaluation is desirable, but it costs extensive labor and time, it's not always repeatable and not scalable. In most cases, offline evaluation is a more like a usable solution, but commonly used metrics like uh, blue material and rudge, which uh, which fails to consider the exponency of the explanations and uh, they don't know what explanations can be taken as good explanations. Therefore, we designed it to develop like machine generated metrics to evaluate the explanations. Uh, the figure shows like the overview structure of our fact-based framework for ESP score. The input is machine generated explanation and the human review as reference. First, we compute the factors and feed the factors into the neural network and output of the neural network is uh, our ESP score. The key idea of our evaluation framework is to learn a unified evaluation model that aggregates the scores of an explanation on various uh, explanatory factors. Uh, we value the, our work's attribute of extendability, interpretability, and adaptability. First, we start with extendability. We think any single factors is insufficient to measure the explanation quality comprehensively because each factor can only evaluate as one particular perspective. Therefore, our factor-based framework aims to gather the strengths of multiple factors and uh, generate a high quality e EXP score for the explanation. Moreover, our framework also leaves space for additional factors, discoveries, and the improvement in the future. And uh, for the interpretability in this study, we choose a factor-based framework for better interpretability compared to some BERT-like frameworks such as BERT score and BLIRT. 
We further examine the effectiveness of our framework by adopting several simple models inspired by two like typical paradigm for model design. We adopt three machine generated methods, including linear and non-linear models to explore the relation between the like standalone factors and the ESV score. And we train the, our models as like linear regression, uh, logic regression and the multi-layer neural networks to feed human readings on the training set. And as for the adaptability, in general, our framework can adapt in uh, like real world uh, applications because it doesn't need any uh, ground truth that ground truth explanations. Also the factor using framework are not specific to any domains, so it's domain independent and can be easily transferred to any recommendation systems. Uh, but how to build such a framework? First, we need to collect some data. We conduct our, our uh, IRB approved the Amazon MTurk survey as figure one shows the MTurkers first will read the descrip description, uh, description of a given item and then, then read the three explanations from one to five with one being the worst quality and five being the best quality. At the, at the end of the survey, we will ask the open question to the workers, what, fact, what factors affect your readings? And finally, we collect a data set named the rec explanations. The details of the data set is, uh, in, the, is in the following. And uh, here is the sound the factors we use in the paper. There are like some relevance score and the length and the readability, but due to the time constraints, I want to go into de details. And uh, we will still like, the we could still add more factors into this kind of framework. And then here we come to the results. We marry the metrics from uh, three perspectives. First, we start with metric correlation. And the most desirable characteristics of the metrics is its strong correlation with human judgment. And uh, a strong correlation indicates the metric captures the information human used to assess the explanation. We compare the ESP score with the, with the following uh, metrics in accessing the explanatory uh, qualities. Then we conduct the Kendall and the Pearson correlation analysis on the above evaluation metrics and uh, the three basic EXP EX score approaches against the human judgment. The experiment demonstrates that all our uh, ESP metrics vastly outperform the existing metrics and even blue outperforms the existing method. And the, our correlation strength of ESP score is above two times larger than blue. And also we like compare the factor with uh, con with the uh, human judgment and the calculus, their Pearson and the candle correlations. And the, we find that uh, the polarity subjective has the strong correlation with human assessment, uh, indicating that a better explainability when explanation have high relevance and a high emotion reference. Table three shows that the importance of all factors generated by the EX score. And then we can see like also the polarity, subjectivity, and the relevance are the top essential factors among the linear weights. We found that it is consistent with the correlation strength in terms of positive and negative relationships. Also in table four, we compare the average test accuracy of the three implementation of ESP score. In, uh, since we both have regression and multi-class tasks, we decided to top a custom accuracy to measure the learning performance for a comp fair comparison. And uh, we can see the accuracy here is not very high and we could add more factors and utilize more complex models like BERT in the future work. But as the first paper addresses the learning metrics for recommendation explanations, we focus on the interpretability of our framework and here comes the conclusion. We develop a new rec uh, explanation data set to facilitate the progress on the recommendation explanation evaluation. Also, we present a novel machine learning based matrix uh, EXP score for evaluating the recommendation explanations. Also, experiment shows that our EXP score of fast outperforms the existing metrics. Also, we propose the interpretable and easily extendable factor-based framework for ESP score that explores the definition of the explanatory from various perspectives. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's the end of uh, my presentation and thank you.